to the Tornia. So we have um, a special uh, case for this. Uh, much superior compared to the commonly prescribed drug. If it is within this one, the FTR region, Okay, so in this video, no, we will be talking about um, the continuation of our discussion about using the um, calculator. No, at this moment, we'll be talking about using the calculator in order to solve the roots, no, the roots of functions and the um, times to the power of um, the exponent function, the special functions also, which involves um, pi and the exponential e no? and the function e then we have fractions then we will go to trigonometric functions okay so first let's have for the root no the root functions okay so we just write that one here okay so we have here for the roots and the times 10 to the x function okay so for the roots function so as um, we have already been uh, doing this one no? for the roots function so the roots is a radical so you have the sign for that is this one so the, the radical sign so in the calculator we have a k pad which has also this one here with the radical sign so in the calculator you could solve for the square root no? so this is for the square root this is for the square root then we could have you can solve also for the cube root so the cube root is the second function no? so if this is your square root so the cube root will be on the shift no? or the second function or the shift function then you can solve also for the nth root no so some low end calculator will not allow you to solve for the nth root but if you will have the high, high end calculator no especially the casio 570 es and ms so you could solve for the nth root which the symbol of the keypad will be like this one the box no? some will be also um, going to the second function or the shift function so now we will go to our calculator Okay, so maybe we just focus our calculator here. Okay. So this one here is our, uh, this is the square root, no? So the second function for that is the cube root. So you can see, no, if it is clear to you, so that is cube root. Then for the nth root, so we have this one. Okay, so the shift function the second function of the x to the n or x to the uh, any exponent no so that is for the um, the um, nth root okay so for example if you are going to solve okay so if you're going to solve the square root no we have here the square root of 35 so what we've been doing is press is first you press the keypad for the square root then you input 3 then 5 then the last one will be equals so let's try that using our calculator so we have square root so square root 35 equals so if this one yeah, if this will be the uh, the actual uh, view of your calculator no so you could press that one SD no this is for the 570 ES but if for the uh, calculator no the low end calculator or those um, cash flow and calculator uh, so we could um, set that one line and uh, so square root 
35 then you could have used also the close parenthesis then equals so you have 5.92 okay so your answer will be 5.92 so how about cube root of 27 so you will press the shift no? shift then you press the square root then you input that is 27 so 2 then 7 then close parenthesis and the last one for that is you press the equal sign okay so let's try that one using our calculator so we have shift square root no? so you so that you, you will be able to activate the cube root then you have 20 so 2 7 close parenthesis equals so your answer is three okay, so the answer for this one is three now how about n truth no for example for truth okay so we have four truth of 64 okay so what you are going to do is you press shift then the x to the bar huh? then you will input first the root here so 4 because that is 4 root then you input 6 then you input also 4 then the close parenthesis and the equals so and uh, this method just if you are using this will be applicable if you are using the um casio no? the default function of a casio calculator okay so you will see the default function of a Casio calculator, the math then, no? So we have one. Okay, so for example, you will have that one in shift. Then you will input four. Then you have six, four equals. You will have this answer. Now, how about the low end type of calculator? So for the low end calculator, no? So the if the calculator is not 570 ms or it is not on the natural display so you could have that one as 4 then you will go to shift then the x bar then you will continue to 6 no? 64 so you will input 6 and 4 so you will input here 6 and 4 then continue to close parenthesis and equals okay so let's try that one so we have 4 shift so the end root 6 4 close parenthesis equals so you will answer 2.83 no? So the answer for this one is 2.83 so from the calculator okay next we will go to the next function which is um, times 10 to the x so for other calculator it will be the exp function you know, for the casio 570 es or the 911 es that will be the times 10 to the x function Okay. so it is used for example if you want to solve this one for example we have 3 times 10 to the power of 4 if you want to get the actual value of this one so we could use the times 10 to the power of 4 as an input no automatically input for example we have 
um, 5 times 10 to the power of 3 divided by 2 no? let's not use the fraction first but divide 2 so you could input this one readily no? okay so we will try that one in our calculator okay so in our calculator itself first of all calculator in focus so this one this is the times 10 to the, to the x function this one some calculator like i said that is the exp function okay so for example if we are going to input 9 times 10 to the power of 9 so you could have that one in this answer and the answer will be this one okay so now we will try the this one the problem this problem we'll try this problem so we will have that one as 5 times 10 to the power of 3 no? so to make sure that this one will not be or the 2 will not the divided by 2 will not be considered as part of the exponent so you could have that one in close and open parenthesis no? and you will just have the divide no? so that the calculator will interpret this one as a group and this is another um, group or another term to be equal to so that is 2500 because 5 times 10 to the power of 3 that is 5000 divided by 2 so it will be 2500 so this will be equal to 2500 so example we will have another one so we have 7 times 10 to the power of negative 3 divided by 3 times 10 to the power of 2 okay so to input this one so first you will have 7 then exp then you will have or times 10 to the x will have negative minus then you will have 3 of course don't forget to have the close and open parenthesis okay then after that one you will have the divide open parenthesis 3 exp or times 10 to the x then 2 close parenthesis then equals and you will now have the answer for this one okay so let's try in our calculator so we have close parenthesis 7 exp minus 3 close parenthesis divide to open parenthesis parenthesis 3 times 10 2 close parenthesis equals so your answer is 2.33 so this one will mean times 10 to the power of negative 5 so you have 2.33 times 10 to the power of negative 5 no. so that will be your answer okay next we will go to other functions and the next function will be the fractions so how to input fractions in our calculator so we have here fractions okay so as we know we have three types of fractions so three general types we have the proper Okay, so the proper is your uh, numerator is this than your denominator the improper in which your numerator is greater than your denominator then the mix no mix so you have a whole number so you have a whole number then a fraction no? so uh, a whole number and a proper proper function so in the calculator you have the button for you have the button which is for the Casio so you will have this one that type of button so for some that will be a over B or depending on the type of calculator or some will have also C over D 
but regardless as long as you have the slash or the over that will be the fraction now the question is how you will input the fraction now for example a proper fraction so one half so you just have that one first you call out the function so you press the key, key pad then you input um, one then two and you will have a one half so this is for the casio es no calculator now for the other um casio 570 es or casio 91 es calculator now for others so first you will have to press one then the fraction sign or the fraction function then two okay so what you are gonna be seeing in your screen will be like this one okay so we have one then two so that will be a indication that you are going to do it with a fraction or you are inputting fraction so let's try to input this one no? first we will go to the um the display though the, the natural display for 570 es calculator okay so first we just set this one okay so fraction one over two so it is like you are um writing on the lcd itself so you are importing the exact um, appearance of the fraction now if you are going to do that one on a um, lower model calculator so first we'll input one fraction then two so you have that one in equal so that will be one half or 0.5 okay so how about mixed form or mixed fractions okay so for example if you are going to have one and one half no one and oh. so we're going to input the fraction one and one half so this is a mix form no so what how we are going to do that one okay so going back to our calculator so what we are going to do is just to input one then fraction function so this is for the whole number so the one then for the one half so you press again one and fraction two you will end up with three halves now for this one our answer is in a proper fraction so if you want to have our our um answer in a mixed form so we could have that one set up so shift you have the mode then you go to the arrow down then you have this one as a b over c no so you press one so you will now have one and one half okay so let's have another example for example we will input three and one half okay so this will be three then the fraction function then one then the fraction function then Okay, so let's try that one on our calculator okay so we have three so that is for the three here one half so we have three and one half okay so that is how you are going to input fractions on the calculator okay so the next one is to going now to the next function which you have, which is or which are trigonometric functions now how to input trigonometric functions so when we say trigonometric functions no, for those of you who have not yet uh, taken up trigonometry no, but i believe it will be uh, it had been discussed on your secondary education no, trigonometric functions okay so the the three common types of trigonometric functions are we have sine cosine and tangent okay so those are the three then we have also the cosecant 
the second and the cotangent. So in the in the calculator, the function for sine, we have the key pad sine, then cos, then tan. Now how about if you will going to have this one in cosecant or the cosecant second and cotangent? So you, you just input one, then the divide sign or that is the division sign then the sine function because cosecant is just a reciprocal of the sine function then you input the number then for second one that will be cos then for cotangent one divide tan okay so that is how you are going to input trigonometric functions on your calculator Okay, so if you are going to add, or if you are going to have some examples, for example, sine 60 degrees, okay. So using now our calculator, so first, we need to check if our setting is in degrees. So how to do that? We need to have shift mode, then we select the tree, no? the dig. So if the D here will appear, then it is already in degrees. So whatever type of calculator, you just have shift setup. No, then you just select if ever the um, the option for degrees will not appear. So you just use the arrows, no, the arrow up, arrow down, until you will have the option for degrees. For example, in this one, the option is four degrees is number three so you press three and now your calcul is set up in degrees so why is it that we need to set up that one in degrees because the the unit of the angle no sine 60 degrees so the unit of the angle will affect your answer because if you have sine 60 the other unit for angle is regions then the answer will be different okay so we just input that one sine 60 so no need for you to input the degrees then equals so you have 0 0.866 how about um tangent no tangent 30 so you need all you need to do is to press tan then the dig the number three zero and close parenthesis then you will have the one equals okay so you have tangent three zero close parenthesis equals okay so how about if you are going to have in regions no cosine 30 regions now our 30 is in regions okay so how we are going to do to, well, no, 30 regions okay so first we need to set our calculator in radians so we have so we have here shift set up then the regions is four so four then you will have here cosine 30 then equals so you need to put the regions so it will be 0 0.154 so i will give you the the difference no if you will if you have set that one in degrees okay so three so the answer for this one is 0 0.154 so how about cosine 30 degrees okay so the answer is 0 0.866 no so there is a big difference when it comes to answer if you do if you put the input of your or the setup of your units on the angle on different units no so for example if the given is degrees then you put that one in radians the set the setup of your calculator is in radians you will have a, a wrong answer no? a big wrong answer okay how about cotangent no so cotangent 60 degrees okay so you need to have that one as one 
then the division sign then the tangent then you will have the 60 then you have the 0 okay then the close parenthesis then the equals okay so let's try this one so we have 1 divide tangent 60 okay so our unit is in degrees because the icon that appeared that appear on the LCD is degrees equals so you have 0 0.517 okay so that will be the answer no okay so for the last one okay the last one I believe this will be the last function as important functions we will go now to the special functions okay, so we have here special functions okay so mainly we will have we'll have the function pi and the e to the x no so pi that will be equal to 3.5 14 16 so on and so forth so that is a non-terminating non-repeating decimal number this is pi and also e also the value for e so let's check that one for our calculator so that we could be sure what is the value for e no so you could see e in this one no? the second function of times 10 to the x or the exp so that is red so that will be alpha alpha e and it will be equal so 2.7182 no? so on and so forth so that is still also a uh, non-repeating non-repeating non-terminating decimal okay so how we are going to use this one for example we need to have this one in 3 pi so we just press 3, no? okay, in the shift, then pi, or that is not pi, but exp, no? or you just look in your calculator and find the symbol pi, okay, because the, it is usually on the second function. No? So we have, so we have 3, shift, pi. That is now equal to equals so you have 9.424 okay how about for e now, for example we have 3 e okay so you need to have 3 alpha e okay So you have here 3 alpha e and that will be equal to 8.154 okay that is how you are going to use the pi and alpha pi pi and the e functions okay so how about if you have e to the x so for example we want to raise our e no e to the power of 3 so we need to find here the e to the x no k pad then you input 3 okay so let's try that one in our calculator so we have shift so that will be shift this one then you put that one two oh no three okay three and you now have the answer so 20.086 okay so the next thing to do now is to try to combine all the functions in solving a simple mathematical problem for example we have this one 
so we need to solve 3 cosine 40 then need to multiply this one by e cube all over one half sine seventy degrees. Okay, so that is now a combination. So how we are going to do that? So first need to input no so for this one, we need to group our our given. No? Here we need to group that one. Okay, so how we are going to do that? So for three, so we need to input three. Okay, so we have three, but because our three here and our cosine is at a parenthesis, so therefore we are in a group. So we need to input the parenthesis also. So three cosine 40 close parenthesis then another parenthesis then that will be multiply no? because that is um two um group no so they are they will be interpreted as a multiplication so you could also type times or the uh, multiplication sign or you just go with the um parenthesis again so have shift e cube then that will be two parentheses no and after that one so remember these two also are in a group because they are considered as a numerator because this is a fraction so first we will also group this one before we go to the fraction so we need to go put a parenthesis here and a parenthesis on this part Okay, so we now have their own group, then fraction, this one, we have also another fraction, so we need to put that one in a group, so one half, then you have then you have that one on a sine no? so multiplied by sine 70 then put another parenthesis okay so this uh, so these two are in a group also so that's why you put a parenthesis here and a parenthesis over here then equals so you will have 98.24 so if we're going to um, this done how we do that one so first we need how we input that one in a calculator so first we need to have a parenthesis then 3 cosine parenthesis so this parenthesis is built in for the cos close parenthesis close parenthesis so they are now as a group then open parenthesis e then you have the symbol here you have the built-in uh, open parenthesis close and close parenthesis then everything will be grouped together as a group so close parenthesis close parenthesis then you input the fraction so that will be the display then you have open parenthesis then you will have one half Okay, then you have sine 70, you know, open parenthesis 70, and this will be close. And your answer for that one will be, from the calculator, that will be 98.24. So 98.24. So make sure because you are dealing with the, uh, we're dealing with the um polygonetic function so make sure that your um angles are in degrees okay so how about for the next one so 
in order in order for you to have a guide so it's better to write first the uh, the somewhat um, realistic no sequence so or how it will appear on the display so this will be the display screen no, for this problem okay so the display now on the screen or the lcd of the calculator okay let's try another one so we have find the value of 9 tangent 30 degrees then this will be added by 32 no? 32 raised to the power of 9 all are in the form of a fraction or you could have that one is as divide um, 7 2 pi plus 2 e cube okay so for the display so how will we appear in the display so first we have the 9 then tangent so it will automatically have an open parenthesis so 30 so you have you give the or you put the close parenthesis so this is as a group so have also another parenthesis okay then plus so you have here 32 no so 32 then you will have here a so what we'll do first for this one is to put this one in a parenthesis no? so 32 parenthesis so you have two parenthesis then you have nine then all of this one are in a group so you put you put again a parenthesis no then divide or the fraction sign so you put or you click the fraction symbol the fraction function then you will have 72 pi so you have open and close parenthesis because that is a group plus 2 so put an open parenthesis a raised to the power of 3 close parenthesis and this and these two here are also considered as a group because they are the numerator and the denominator so you put again a open and close parenthesis okay so this is how we are going to input our problem in the calculator so this is for the um, calculator in which the uh, in which the um, the model is uh, not as high as the Casio 570ES calculator okay so let's try to input now no, the display okay so first open parenthesis one another open parenthesis and we have nine tangent so it will automatically have a open parenthesis so 30 close parenthesis another close parenthesis plus open parenthesis 32 then shift no, no close parenthesis so for this one close parenthesis okay then shift raise to the power oh no not shift this one so raise for raise to the power of nine close parenthesis and another close parenthesis okay then the fraction sign then you have open parenthesis 72 so you have two open parenthesis in 72 shift pi then plus 2 shift e raised to the power of 3 close parenthesis another close parenthesis close parenthesis and equal to 1.32 times 10 to the power of negative 11.
Okay, so our answer is 1.32. No? Okay, so the answer is 1.32 times 10 to the power of negative 11. So this will be the display and this will be the answer. Okay. So I believe that will be all for this video, so the part 2 on how to use your calculator. As we go on to our discussion in basic engineering mathematics, we will also uh, use no, other functions no, of this calculator. Okay, so I hope you understand something in this video. Thank you for watching, and as always, enjoy learning. Superior compared to the commodity prescribed graph. If it is within this one, the FTR 